Hey guys, DJ Soda Kane here again doing another DJ Soda Kane TV episode. And um, as you guys can see here, I'm, I'm in a uh, terminal. So I was at college. Um, still am in college. I'm at a. I'm, in, <laughs> I'm on fall break. I'm on. Okay, we got it. Okay, so I'm on um, fall break right now. Uh, but it's just wrapping up. So right now I'm in an airport terminal getting ready to fly back. Uh, the flight here actually went pretty well for first time flying, so not too bad. But um, yeah, I did a few mixes which I post to, uh, to post soon on my YouTube channel. So you guys can check that out, that'd be pretty cool. So I heard that, um, I heard that Jesus Freak 101, uh, as, as we know him, Jesus Freak 101, I heard that he's gonna be retiring. So, um, everybody's been pointing to like this vlog update that he did called Farewell to the Project. So I'm listening to that right now. And as I listen now, um, so I'll just give you my thoughts on, um, what he said. Ooh, that looks super weird and awkward. The mom says she wears a hoodie. I don't know who wears a hoodie over a button-down shirt except for Elliot Alderson. Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's Jesus Frequent One. And I kind of wanted to do an update thing, uh, letting guys know what I'm, what's going on, um, what I've been doing the last few months. I know my last upload has been like seven, like my last legitimate upload has been seven months ago, excluding the things we lost in the fire EPs. If you listen to that, high five. I'll just like, there you go, high five. Um, you, you're pretty cool. But it's, it was, it was, it didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Um, the project in general, but um, I so I kind of deleted it. Not really like success wise, like the like I was trying to replicate the success of the retirement party EP. I was I had an idea to try to expand the story and try to uh, move the story forward in uh in you know in a weird, interesting way. But I feel like that concept didn't work out the way I wanted it to, so I just deleted it. But other than that, yeah, I, I have won't, haven't posted in a while, since seven months, and I kind of wanted to make an announcement why I haven't been posting in such a long time, and why I haven't been that active on the community. Um, I got inspired by BYG, um, who I talked to him for a while, and I was originally going to announce, do this silently. I wasn't planning to announce this, because I've tried to attempt this, do this several times. I've tried to attempt to uh, try to do this uh, for my for the project in general, um, but it never really worked out. And so, um, but it feels like it's finally working now. It feels like finally getting off, like, um, like kind of just starting off, start like slowly uh, doing, slowly taking it step by step is kind of working out. And so, I guess it's better now to announce it. As you notice in the banner, in my SoundCloud banner, it talks about like, hey, thanks for the last few years. It's been such a blast, but every era sadly has an end. See it in the next project. And why I said that and why I um, put that up there is because I'm I'm finally killing the project Jesus Frequent One there. So, got like two minutes into it. Um, so, you know, listening to the vlog, it looks like he's quitting the Jesus Freak 101 project, which is very unfortunate because um, his music was really good. It was getting better. Like, the retirement party was amazing. And, you know, He'd done like remixes that had gotten really popular. Like I think NF. He remixed an NF song that got extremely popular. It's just like And on one one hand it's not too hard to believe that he's he's suspending the project because he hasn't put out stuff in a long time, but still, it's like it still comes out like a shock, you know? Um because I I was I was a pretty big fan of his stuff. Um I don't I don't think my brother was as much of a fan of his stuff as I was. I try to be really supportive of artists in CDM because I think like there, you can have constructive criticism all you want, but you still have to be supportive, or else you're just shooting down. You can't just shoot down artists if um, if they're not good enough. Because if you do that, then they'll just they won't they ob they won't get better. They'll just stop. And you can't have that in CDM. You can't have that in any job. You can't just shoot down people with potential. You have, like, you know, you can look and say, like, they have a talent that's budding. But now we're just going to shoot you down because, you know, 
I didn't write that job so cool or, or, or whatever. Not, I'm not, this isn't to say anything specific. I'm really rambling. Obviously I'm rambling, but, you know, it's really a really a big disappointment that Jesus 3.1 has decided to have the project. Now, I wonder why. Let's all find out. There's nothing more really else to say about the project. There's nothing really more else that I could um, do overall of the project. There's a... Uh, there's nothing really much I can add to the project that really could um, prevent it from kind of fading out. Um, excuse me about that weird burp or something like that or something. I don't even know what that is, was earlier, but um, but uh, there's several reasons why, and it's just not only like mostly what I was just said earlier, but it's not really that is the main basis why I'm leaving. Um, one of them is just, I'm not really that interested in EDM anymore. Yo, he just said that he's not interested in EDM anymore. I can't believe this. Why would... Jesus Freak... Like, how could you have a CDM artist who all of a sudden is just like, I'm not interested in EDM anymore? Like, EDM is a wonderful genre. You know, extreme... It, it takes a lot of skill to it, it work. You know, working on just different aspects of, of, of your production game. Um, you know, EDM is so so multifaceted in how you work on it. It's so complex. It's so energetic. Um, there, there's like EDM of different moods. Like you know, you've got Mark Garrett. You have, you had, we had Capital Kings. There's Salt of the Sound uh, too. So all kinds of different sides of it, and just be all of a sudden like I don't, I don't even care about EDM. That's not like that's kind of weird. Like he was rushing up behind that. Not like, like I enjoy listening to EDM. Oh wait, no, he he did say that he's he still likes listening to it. Never mind, sorry, I take all that back. Yeah. I just res started listening to Oski again, and he's really good and stuff like that. I listen, and I've been really digging uh, the new uh, the new Carbons tracks. They've been pretty good. Uh, and this new space laces and stuff like that. I enjoy dubstep. I love dubstep, and I love EDM also in general. But for me, making it has become kind of a boring chore. What else can you do than a build up and a drop in some synths? Now, or even like when you're taking another songwriting route, like what can you do? Where can you take EDM into a more artistic approach than what's already been done? Like where can you take what can you what can you do with EDM that hasn't been already done? Okay, well, EDM. I'm gonna respond to this. So he said that EDM. EDM. He basically said EDM is boring. Where else can you do artistically other than like some to nice synths and drop? Okay. It's not just nice synths in the drop, okay? Saying that, like, what else can you do with EDM besides nice synths in the drop is like saying, what else can you do with pop music? Because you're just going to have, you know, a hook in a chorus and maybe a bridge. Like, that's boring. Just nothing but hooks and choruses and bridges. Like, that's, that's so boring and dumb. I'm not interested in pop music anymore. That's not how it works. Because if that's how it works, then you'd be stuck with nothing but classical music. And that's not what you're doing. No, no, just to take every, put everything in the context, I'm joking. I don't really want to see Jesus Freak 101 leave the genre. I hope this is maybe like a thistle thing um, that he decides to come back. Although, one change in the formula, I, I don't hope that, it, that he decides to come back because he got shot. I want him to decide to come back just because that's what he wants to do. But still. I feel like he's taking Is shots in the downer of EDM, and all of these shots are unwarranted. Totally unwarranted. EDM is a musical genre. There's no getting behind it. Unless you're listening to, like, some weird rhythm. I think, for the most part, rhythm is musical, but not all of it is. Um, but there's... Okay, I'm not going to go down get on a tangent about rhythm. I'm just saying EDM, dubstep... All of that is musical. You can just just kind of be like, ah, I can't do anything but sense and drops. You can pick up your bag and okay. the there's there's very few music like songs in the EDM community, specifically even the CDM community that is have, have that has taken a creative e edge, um, specifically in its genre. Um, I've seen I've seen a lot of artists um, always strive to do something, always strive to 
be the be the like do the next big thing and do the next crazy thing but um i don't know i don't see that i don't i don't i don't i don't see that i don't see that happening i don't, I don't like i don't hear it happening either there's very few artists in the community who i feel like yeah there's some change there's this is a refreshing change to it and there's very few artists who i feel like have made that refreshing change that have just refreshed my mind in the genre as a whole and there's nothing really much more for me to add to it so um i think it's better off that i uh kind of leave off okay 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 hold on so jesus freak 101 just said that um you're seeing a lack of creativity. Yada yada. Okay. Jesus Freak 101 is saying that um, he's seeing a lack of creativity. No one's making any creativity as I should not see the amount. Now I'm just going to have to push back on that because that is entirely. I'm sorry for the for the tricky camera. Um, that's entirely unfair and entirely untrue. Look at. There's some really clear examples of artists just like being really creative. But I think the best example is Kevin Alexander with his song Genesis. If you go back and listen to that, that drop is unlike anything that I've ever heard. You know, thing too was like you're gonna get a lot of similarities with EDM, but you're, like, you're gonna get stylistic differences too, even if it's like the same genre and stuff. So just because music is kind of similar, it's never going to be identical. Like soul players' music. My brother loves to say he's trying to be Martin Garrix, but he's better than Martin Garrix, honestly, if you look at like all of the, the stuff that he's packed. Like, just my opinion, Levitt's opinion, and don't get me wrong, I think Martin Garrix is like my favorite artist. I think as far as like the, the actual melodies and stuff, I actually tend to like soul players music better than Martin Garrix is now. And I guess part of that's probably creativity in, guess what, melodies. You can always make better melodies. Even if you're bored with everything else, you can always make better melodies. So it's not like there's nothing you can do. You can always get better. Um, but it's a ridiculous misnomer to say that Christian EDM artists are not good. And I'm not sure why you're trying to insult the entire community. I, I think he's probably not trying to insult the entire community. But there are creative artists. They, they haven't like disappeared. There, there, there. Just look for them. And also, the lack of lack of creative artists is not a reason to leave the genre. It's actually a reason to stay, because you know, just like being like, all oh, the CDM artists are bad, so I'm not going to make the CDM. No, you stay so that you can be the best. Two, I think the community is pretty toxic. The CDM community as a whole is pretty toxic. With the exception of several people, there are there are very nice people, but there's also people who are like talking behind other people's backs, which it, I don't mind about that. It, it happens with everybody, but I mean, it's a pretty toxic community. Forget what I said about the talking with other back between behind the backs. Um, what I'm trying to say is that the community is super toxic. Um, there's like people who there's like drama. Basically, it's mostly drama based. Not really too toxic but it's kind of drama based it's i don't know i i i feel like sometimes the community could get a little bit dramatic and that's just my personal opinion i feel like sometimes the cdm community could be over dramatic on cer certain things i mean there's a lot of certain things that have been over dramatized and stuff like that and serious things have been happening so um that's been a serious thing uh, that uh, that kind of needs to be addressed. Uh, that well, not really serious, but I mean, <sighs> well, I'm scrambling my words again. But I'm, what I'm trying to say is that the community is kind of like dramatic in some ways, and it doesn't feel like it's moving forward at this point, especially with the downfall of Capital Kings. It doesn't seem like it's moving forward to a direction that I w that I want to take my music in too. Okay, so I understand being upset, um, and I agree actually with Isaiah's. With I see, I agree partly with what Isaiah said. American Airlines for multiple departures from Gate 35F. Please listen for your flight number and destination to be called before going down the stairs. 
open the door announced for your flight. You will then board a bus to take you to your aircraft. As a reminder, we board flights approximately 30 minutes prior to the posted departure time. In the meantime, please remain comfortably seated in either the upper or lower level hold. Sir, I do quickly part of what Isaiah flight. was saying with his whole that the CDM community is toxic because it because it can be toxic a little bit. But then to go on and be like, oh, they tend to be dramatic. It's more drama based. It's not toxic. It's drama based. Number one, yes, part of it is toxic because you've got you just have like you have people who are leaving entire chat rooms because people are, are being mean and, and um, just like it's not cyberbullying. But just like trolling, spamming, and you've caused that. You've seen that fracture of the CDM community because people will leave one community, they'll make a whole new chat room, and then maybe that one go to a different chat room, leave that one go to a different chat room. I mean, it gets really redundant, repetitive. Everyone's fractured, split off. At this point, a charger cord. Yeah, I actually got a cable here. So yeah, he's right on, on some points, um, you know, because there are, there are like definitely toxic uh, parts of the CDM community, but when you talk about drama, people blow stuff out of proportion. Well, in every genre, you're going to have people blow, blow stuff out of proportion because, you know, TMZ is a thing, blogs are a thing, Twitter and Reddit are things, and they blow everything out of proportion. So, um, I mean... Don't be shocked if everyone blows things out of proportion. I mean, if anything, be glad that people are, well not don't be glad that people are blowing things out of proportion because that can be bad at times. But it should be encouraging because that means that people care enough. People that means people care. People care about the stuff going on in the CDM, the CDM community. Uh, people care about the artists. People care about the music. People care about what's going on. Um, unless of course you see people blowing stuff out of, out of proportion, and you can tell that their motivation is just to, to divide. And, you know, pit people against, I don't know. That's entirely different. But just to be against drama, you know, you ever watch sports? Your know, storylines are really great. You know, you know, who follows a team without a storyline? I don't know anyone, who, unless, you were, unless you were born in the city, like, of the team, or it's like our hometown team or whatever. Like, it's no fun to follow something that has no story. That's why, like, that's why no one follows like a documentary about driving pain. Because that's boring. And nothing's going on except the pain is right. But you'll see people watch, even like Planet Earth or something, stuff is happening, animals are, you know, eating or running or glowing in the dark. You know, you have people watching like, I don't know, sports games, news, talk shows, that's, people follow things if something's happening. There's no drama if nothing's happening. If there, actually, if there's absolutely no drama, then, then the drama is probably dead. Um, three is mostly the most one of the other important factors is that creatively, um, I don't feel like I could. Like I said, I can't. I don't think I can add any more to take it to a creative direction. I've tried several songs to take it into a creative direction that I feel proud about, but I feel like it never really worked. Like the 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 successor the the things that like people responded it's not really there's not that many people who are really interested in my own work or my own uh like projects other than nf remixes and stuff like that which i'm not that mad about i'm just saying that in general i feel like that a lot of uh the remix a lot of people Mostly follow my SoundCloud page just because of the remixes. There's nothing really much to add to it. There's nothing really much in general to add to it. Um, so basically, yeah, I, I kind of wanted to thank you guys. I want to thank you guys for the last few years. I want to thank you guys so much for being so supportive of my work and kind of uh, helping me to get where I am today. You guys are really the foundational roots of my uh, like career as a music producer in general. You guys have laid the foundational roots and you guys have kind of um, helped me out become a better producer. And through that, I will be forever grateful for my time here. But I feel like 
Um, I feel like things I've been losing touch with this community in some ways, and it feels kind of weird trying to release something and trying to hit like throw something at the wall. Um, I don't know, throw things to like a void or something like that. It kind of feels weird, and so I I I'm going to leave this project. I don't know if I'll ever come back. I'm not gonna say I'm gonna quit forever, but I uh, I I see a foreseeable future. But I don't see it like I don't insanely like I don't see it automatic. Like I don't see a foreseeable future for the project right now. But maybe I will eventually in the future. And so, um, I'm gonna continue to uh, work on new stuff new material you'll find me somewhere on the internet you'll if you've been following my page for a long time you'll know where exactly where i am but if you've been new it, it might take some time to find me unless those people who have been there for a long time you get in contact with those people and you find them and you find me which um yeah i kind of want to start over and start fresh in some way and so um, I'll still be here in this page to um, repost stuff and repost music that I like and um, f put feedback on the SoundCloud com on the CDM community and check out songs that you guys have posted and stuff like that but uh, and message back to you guys but I'm not gonna be as active in like posting wise and so thank you guys for so much thank you guys for all your support thank you guys for the last amazing five ish years um so yeah i guess that's uh that's all i have to say all right goodbye okay so in the final part he did say that he's having issues like just like with creativity just you know, finding his um finding his groove and, you know, figuring out um you know ways to move forward and make his music better so you know, it's gonna be like you know legit try to uh you know, move forward in, in making music, but um, yeah. If we have any technical, I mean, I, it's cool these things to be happening right now. We're listening to music and stuff, but it's just disappointing that we decided to just, you know, retire. I mean, he's been around for five years, so not a huge tenure, but not super short. So, I mean, I've been grateful to have him no longer this ride for so long. And, uh, so, you know, it is what it is. We have to deal with it. We have to throw it in place as best we can. I'm trying hard to promote, like, the new breed as much as I can. I'm, I'm very busy now with, with college and stuff. Um, yeah, college does that to you. Um, I think it's kind of a thing. But, um... Yeah, I'm trying hard to promote the next wave of CDM artists because they are our future. Uh, we can't be all hung up and like the future of CDM is 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 is, is, is grim, it's gloomy, uh, just because uh, Capital Kings are. Like we have to have a future. Like I think that, that's why I push ACJR and Brady James so hard. Because I think they legit are the future of CDM. I think we have to get behind them. We have to get behind artists like them because I think that their quality, with the level of quality especially, them and Chris Allen, the level of quality, we have to follow their example. Well, not, well I can't say we can actually make the music, but that these CDM artists need to follow their example as far as quality uh, and creativity and, you know, being themselves and yet being in a, in a competitive genre where, where, where things are quite similar from song to song. But still, it sounds different. Listen to ACJI. Seriously, listen to ACJI. You'll see what I'm talking about. Very unfortunate that this freak widow one is done, but, you know, it is what it is. I guess this is the closest that you guys are going to get to another episode of CDM World. I'm doing this kind of on the fly. I'm just waiting for my flight, but... Um, yeah, I just think that, you know, it's it's extremely unfortunate. And I just think that the CEDM community just needs to band together, work together, uh, you know, cooperate, and support each other. That's really the whole point of a community. If your community is not supporting each other, then, like, why are you there? <laughs> why do you exist? I just hope I'm being encouraged to do that, because... 
I know a lot of you guys are kind of upset with Steve CDM, CDM right now, but I'm just saying the future is bright. The future is bright. Just open your eyes. Just open your eyes. Don't take off the sunglasses.